there's a section of the trail called the bridge and it's like a 20 foot drop in between railroad ties and I was up here one day with a flight attendant friend of mine and she slipped and kind of fell through it was not good my name is Paul I fly airplanes for a living but my passion is encouraging you to explore this beautiful world by giving you a glimpse into my layover life Tomorrow morning, I am flying United's longest domestic flight, Newark, New Jersey to Honolulu, Hawaii. It's one of the most senior trips we have. As a matter of fact, right now, it's probably the most senior trip. This summer, when we were flying Mallorca and Bergen and Tenerife, those were all really senior trips. But now that those are gone for the season, Honolulu is the most senior trip. It starts at about 8.30 in the morning, which is why I had to fly out tonight from uh, Minneapolis to Newark. So I'm spending the night in the hotel, and then tomorrow morning, we're off to the airport. Tomorrow we're flying the 767-400, which is just a little bit different than the 767-300, which is what I often fly. It weighs about 40,000 pounds more than the 767-300 for like max gross takeoff weight. The main difference, however, is the cockpit displays. The displays on the 767-400 are kind of like glass basically, more like a 777. The displays on the 767-300 are more analog. They're so different as a matter of fact, if you haven't flown the 767-400 two legs in the last 90 days, you have to take a computer-based training course. It takes about 30 minutes. Ironically, I just did that on my last trip, so I got that done, so I'm fully current and qualified to fly the 767-400. And tomorrow morning, we're off to the airport to fly United's longest domestic flight. The first stop before flight, if you don't count Starbucks, is the flight planning area. That's where all the pilots meet to look over the flight plan, call the dispatcher, check the weather, and talk about anything unusual that might affect the flight. We had one very special passenger on board this particular flight, but I'll get to that later. Then it's out to the plane to brief the flight attendants and get the cockpit ready to go. 30 minutes after takeoff to like an hour and a half after takeoff. It is a little bit bumpy. Hello, hello, ladies and gentlemen. Good morning from the flight deck. I'd like to welcome you on board United Flight 363. The service now to Honolulu. Take a train ride just to see. Ride for hours just to please you. We have just arrived in paradise. 10 hours and 21 minutes today. It actually went by really, really fast. I'm meeting the first officers downstairs here in a few minutes, and then another friend of mine, first officer from Guam, who's here on a layover. We're gonna try to go on a sunset cruise tonight, but the boats are all full, so it's gonna be kind of a gamble. I don't really know what the night's gonna bring, but it's gonna be an adventure, I can tell you that. After we found my friend Coco, we walked down the beach and put our name on the standby list for a couple different sunset cruises, then found some umbrella drinks to pass the time. Well, we made it. Yeah, we made it! <laughs> Just like flying standby. While the sunset cruise was fun, I needed a little more adventure. So the next morning, my first officer, Brian, and I woke up before the sun to go find it. It's an hour till sunrise and we're at Coco Head, which is one of my favorite hikes here because it's a little bit less touristy than, say, Diamond Head. We're gonna try to beat the sun to the top. As you can tell by the stream of headlights behind me, we weren't the only people that had this idea. There's a section of the trail called the bridge, and it's like a 20 foot drop in between railroad ties. Okay, so that's the scariest part. And I was up here one day with a flight attendant friend of mine, 
the tiles were slippery and she slipped and kind of fell through. She didn't fall through to the bottom. But she hit her butt on the tile pretty hard in her shin. It was not good. So if you're ever up here, especially if it's wet, be very careful on the bridge. Now is when it gets super steep. Good morning. Well, good morning. How are you? Good, how are you? Great. I love people like that. Up here, bright and early, making everybody's day better. Right. 800 steps, 200 to go. There's a reason I love doing this kind of stuff and on the flight yesterday I kind of was reminded of what that was. We had a, a girl on board named Addie and uh, she was uh, doing her make-a-wish trip. She was 17. Like I can't imagine that that's a trip her parents wanted to make. It's awesome that she gets to come here but doing a trip with the Make-A-Wish Foundation is probably not something you want to do with your kids. So, I'm just very appreciative of this kind of stuff. This is a bucket list thing for a lot of people. And, I don't know, glad I get to do this. And I'm glad I don't just sit in the hotel room and watch Netflix. <laughs> so, anyway, I hope you join me on my next journey. Hit the subscribe button if you want to do that. Aloha. <laughs>